Welcome to my 132 scale model of the bridge of the USS Enterprise. There have been six Federation ships with that name. Please specify by registry number. NCC 1701. No bloody A, B, C, or D. Now that we've cleared that up, let's move on to the parts. And as they're all white, there'll be no need, I think, to drill out any holes. The light should shine through fine. I also have the photo etch set for the panels and consoles. First of all though, let's take a look at the lighting plan and layout. So I'm not going to use all the panels as I want to do a diorama, so I leave out these two. Which will be the view for the diorama that I have in mind. For the rest of the panels they will require lighting, including the main view screen, the individual stations, the captain's chair and the navigation console. Several LED strips attached to each other should do fine. Then from panel 9 going under the floor where individual LEDs can light the captain's chair and the navigation console. Behind the panels, I'll have to make a sort of covering to hide the LEDs. This also can and will lend to the diorama. I made copies of the decals as I'm going to cut them out and cover where the lighting is going to be. This will be easier than using tape. And again, as the panels are white, the LED strip behind them will be plenty to light the consoles and the console grills. But let's start with the floor and the decks go together like so. Main screen, main screen left, environmental, engineering, elevator, communications, main screen right, defense, assistant navigator, and science. The command module will sit here. While the cables will run outside of the decks, behind the panels, I'll need to bring them in under the communication deck to power the captain's chair navigation console. So I'll snip a small piece of plastic off the end of both the comms deck and the command deck, which will allow the cables to pass through unhindered. The same will have to be done for the comms console as well, but I'll get to that later. Now I can put the floor together. with the exception of the engineering and environmental decks, as I need that view unrestricted. As you can see, the gaps are noticeable between panels, and when they're sprayed a darker colour, they'll become even more so. So, I'll use putty to fill them in. Use a generous amount, as the solvent putty tends to shrink. I left this to dry for a day before filing it down. Start with a high gauge file and work down to a lighter one, as you don't want to file the plastic. Because the putty is a solvent, I'm wearing gloves. Once filed down to smooth, I gave it a couple of coats of primer. You can still see a little bit of the gaps on the left and right, so I went over those again and then sprayed a base coat of mid-grey. There is a border around the decks and command deck, so I'll tape off the area and spray black. On the sides and a little underneath, I'll spray wood deck brown, because the TV set is made of wood. I'll do the steps and supports now, but won't attach them to the model, as I'll be moving the deck around a lot and they'll just fall off. So I'll put them aside until the end. The steps I'll do a light grey, and the step supports black, and put them together. As I'm not using two of the decks, I won't be using one of the steps. 
and I'm going to leave it there for this part. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Please join me for part two, where I'll start the control panels, elevator doors, and main screen. Until then, alien frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell too. Thank you.